Hong Kong Disneyland is a very nice place. I was just there the other day. A fantasy wonderland, it has forests, mine shafts, and even Pacific Islander huts. But did you know that about 60 years ago, Disneyland looked like this? This is because Disneyland was built on Panis Bay, which is a piece of reclaimed land. Speaking of land reclamation, Hong Kong is actually rolling out its most ambitious land reclamation project yet, the Lantau Tomorrow Vision. It aims to build a habitable metropolis by 2032 on 1,700 hectares of reclaimed land around Kao Yi Chao and Hei Ling Chao. So what is the rationale behind such a large-scale project? Well, the chief executive of Hong Kong, Carrie Lam, says that the Land Tao Tomorrow vision is meant to address an impending housing supply crisis. So what exactly is going on? The Our Hong Kong Foundation reports that the supply of housing will plummet by 40% by 2023. Moreover, Hong Kong is one of the lowest ranked in living space per capita in the world at only 173 square feet per person, which is about as large as a parking slot. This extreme scarcity of living space caused housing prices to become exorbitant. Every month, the average Hong Kong worker earns 17,000 Hong Kong dollars. However, the average price of a used home in Hong Kong is 8 million Hong Kong dollars. This means that if one wanted to buy a used home in Hong Kong, one would have to work 470 months or 39 years without spending a single cent. So, most people end up just renting homes. The problem is, the average rent of a one-bedroom apartment in Hong Kong is 11,000 Hong Kong dollars. And that would amount to 64.7% of a Hong Kongers average monthly salary, leaving little for other expenses. Fortunately, the reclaimed land is expected to house up to 1.1 million people, which is nearly 15% of Hong Kong's total population of 7 million. The project could create more than 340,000 jobs over the next few decades and also establish a third core business district alongside Central and Kowloon East. However, proponents of the Lantau Tomorrow vision are criticized for not considering apparently more feasible alternatives such as rezoning and developing brownfield sites. Brownfield sites are agricultural zones that were repurposed for other uses, such as container yards and parking space. Developing them is much cheaper than land reclamation, which could cost up to 1 trillion Hong Kong dollars, adjusting for inflation. Moreover, land reclamation severely adversely impacts the environment, as dredging causes the release of toxins and dust that pollute the water, this destroys marine habitats permanently and causes noise pollution, which would contribute to the extinction of many local species. Finally, the artificial islands may be particularly vulnerable to rising sea levels and violent typhoons. All in all, there is indeed a pressing housing issue in Hong Kong. However, due to cost, environmental, and feasibility constraints, the Land How Tomorrow Vision project should be further reconsidered and weighed against apparently feasible alternatives like brownfield site development.